Hello and welcome to Checking It Out with Rich. Uh, a couple of videos ago I did one on the TST 770 TPMS system. I really like it. But I did a little mod on th their mount to make it a little bit better for me. Um, number one, um, their mount is suction cup and most of my dash is porous so it's not going to stick to it. I really didn't want to stick it on to the windshield because the windshield so far away. So I came up with a little mod and I'm hoping maybe this will entice not only TST but other manufacturers of um, GPS systems, other TPMS manufacturers to maybe go with something like this instead of having a more proprietary um, mount. So let me bring you in a little closer and I'll show you what they have and what I did. Okay, their setup is pretty nice with this magnet. You know, you just pull on it, then you can take this and put it in a glove box or whatever, uh, throw it in your camper when you get to the destination. You don't have to worry about it being in the heat, getting stolen or anything like that. So this I like. This, there's two main things I don't like about this. One, number one, it's suction cup. You only have that option to use a, a suction cup. And then the other thing I don't like is the way this is all put together now you have a bolt going through here which is a little carriage bolt and this magnet comes right off and you can see it's uh grooved there you got two legs but this is what i really don't like it's got a little nut in there um you lose that you're pretty much screwed it's probably metric i didn't check but more than likely I'd have to say it is. And then it's the same with this one. So I come up with something better that I feel is better. So let me bring that in. I'll show you what I did. Okay, so this isn't exactly what I did. Uh, my base is it has the three legs on it. And it's... Um, adhesive so I just I cleaned the dash off real good and I stuck it on there but this one here I should have taken this route and it would have gave me more options if I want to put a Go, GoPro on a dash or something like that but anyway all I did was no that's your base it has a 3m tape on it and then this can slide into here. Now that locks in. That's that's not going anywhere. Let me tighten this up. And then the way the uh, the way your magnet is on your device, it has to be vertical like that. If you can see that, yeah. So in order for it to be like that, you're going to need a 90 degree offset. So, you can put that in there, tighten that down, and then your magnet can go into this one. And then put that in, and tighten that one down. And then you have a lot more adjustment. You can have it further back on your dash. Or they sell these in different lengths. You can have it closer to you. Or there's a lot of other options. Um, where I have mine, uh, my there's a grab handle there. So this is actually down sort of like that from the dash. So it's actually down lower like in front of the dash. And then if you wanted to take this out, let's see if I can do this because it's not glued down. You want to take the whole thing out it just slides right out it's pretty easy these are not not very expensive you can get a a bunch of uh different ends um extensions in that for less than 15 bucks um if you know exactly what you want to do you can probably go a lot cheaper than that and then if this was mounted let me tighten everything up here and it's mounted wham you're done and like I said, you do have oh, you do have a lot of uh, range in motion here. If you want it up high on a dash, whatever.
Okay, I don't know if they make a uh, suction cup base for this style. I, I don't even know what this is called. Um, I did a search on Amazon and it was, um, I think, action camera mounts. I think that's how I, how I looked this up. But I can imagine they make a suction cup. So even if you did want to stick it on your window or something like that. Yeah, I'm quite happy with my setup. It got it to the exact point I wanted it, right below that handle. Like I said, I will put a picture of my setup. So hopefully this helps somebody out. But more than that, I, I would like manufacturers to go with something more standard um, so that things are more interchangeable. Same way with phones. I guess they're trying to go to USB-C on most things now, which is great instead of having all these different cords for everything. So like I said, hopefully this helps somebody out. And uh, once again, thanks for checking it out. We'll see you all next time. Bye.